What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you on how to use the progress bar in JavaFX. You need to use the progress bar to provide a visual feedback to the user about the progress of the task for a better experience. So let's get started. Open your scene builder if you are using the scene builder to make your graphical user interface. And what I have here are the button, progress bar, progress indicator. I also included this control because it works the same as the progress bar. And I also have a label to show the progress later. So let's go here to progress indicator and what's in the property section? It has the progress property and the progress property has two types of states the indeterminate state and the determinate state. The indeterminate state works when the system doesn't know when when is the progress will be going to end and the determinate state works like this. It shows the progress of the task. And the value of this one uses the double data type. Zero represents zero percent and one represents one hundred percent. So and let's go here at the code section. I set the FX ID to progress indicator and as well as the progress bar and the button I also set the on action event to make progress alright and let's go here the uh, main view show sample skeleton and copy this code let's go here the IDE and paste the code right here So what I'm going to show you is when we click the when I click the button it will make a progress. So I'm going to create a method for the progress. Progress. Let's name this method to progress. And I'm going to pass in the progress indicator and let's make a double for our value this equals p that get progress and if value is less than zero value is equals to 0 0.1 this represents 10 percent of the progress else value <coughs> plus 0 0.1 and make another statement value is greater than equal to 1.0 value is equals to 1.0 alright so if the value is less than 0 it will make progress to 0 0.1 means meaning 10% of the progress else value is equals to value if the value is is equals to 0 0.1 then it will add another 0 0.1 and if value is greater than 1.0 it will stop the, the progress so let's call the p object and set the progress to value and let's go here to make progress action event and let's call the progress bar and the progress indicator to make the progress nope not this one progress let's call the progress method and 
pass in the progress indicator uh, also uh, progress bar as well as the progress bar and let's try to run our application to see what that look like if I'm going to click the button it will make progress 10 20 30 40 50 60 until 100 so if I'm going to display the progress here from 10% to 100% let's close this and make the code let's go here at the let's go here below this one So let's call the label progress. Label progress that set text, and we will use the integer. That two string, and let's cast the integer. alright and let's try to run the program again nope it's not working value times 100 it will times the double value to 100 to make it correct alright that's it and I hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and I will see you in the next video